Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today's pick a card video is going to be something that I've been thinking about doing for a very long time. And it is going to be a kind of like a choice type of video. So if you're struggling on choosing between two options, this video is going to help you to choose, hopefully. And it is going to be a little bit different. We're not pulling before we read. We're going to be pulling as we read. So it will be just a slight difference to our normal routine that we've had going. Um, but first we're going to get into like an energy read on what the situation is, what you could be choosing between. And then we're going to go into path A, what will happen if you go down this path, and then path B, what will happen if you go down that path. So you can kind of see what will happen for whichever path you are feeling more drawn to, or if you're just really confused and you need to know what happens for both paths, you can, you know, know that. So, of course, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is based on your current energy, so, you know, that's important to know. Whatever your current energy is, this is, like, what's gonna, what it's gonna be about. Um, but first, let's get into picking your piles. We're gonna be doing visual signifiers and sound signifiers. First, we're gonna look into the visual signifiers. So, for pile one, we have this beautiful piece of clear quartz absolutely stunning piece for pile number two we have this little house this little ceramic house the artist will be listed for you pile two and for pile three we have this like palm reading statue for pile three give you a good look at it and for pile four we have this piece of copper for pile four now we'll get into the sounds pile one this is your sound Two, this is your sound. And pile three, this is your sound. And pile four, this is your sound. Okay, now take this moment to pause this video if you need to, to pick your piles or rewatch the sounds, whatever you gotta do. Um, if you've never done a pick a card reading, use your intuition to choose which is calling to you. you could, if you're choosing between like a lot of different things, if you have multiple things you're choosing a one or two path with, you could always choose more than one pile if you're drawn to them. Um, so, you know, do what you feel called to do. And if you've never done a pick a card reading, you look into the description box below to pick your timestamp. And that is how you um, go to your pile or piles, whatever you got to do. And now you can take this time, pause if you need to, whatever. Um, but we're going to get into pile number one. And I will see you at your pile. Hello, pile number one. If you chose the clear quartz cluster, then this is your pile. So this is an energy read on what you could be choosing between. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, use your own interpretation. You know, there could be multiple energies here. We have so many cards that some of them are like completely off camera. 
is that's how many spirit wanted to come out um but i'm gonna go through tell you what the cards are and then i'm gonna give you the message because you can't see them all um we have six of wands in reverse three of swords in reverse the high priestess the tower in reverse six of pentacles knight of swords in reverse eight of wands ten of cups in reverse three of pentacles seven of wands the magician five of wands in reverse five of cups in reverse angel de la nuit in reverse which is significant to this deck um special to this deck um seven of cups in reverse seven of pentacles in reverse knight of pentacles and king of wands so what i'm getting right off the bat first of all um you're definitely going through a healing journey some of you are in the stagnant energy where you're really really upset and sad but you don't really feel like you can move forward um give me a second here give me a second because spirit's trying to communicate and i'm trying my hardest to listen okay so there is this this choice between saying where you are which isn't serving you it's actually holding you back from going after what you really want there is this energy of not really being authentic with ourselves and also not really wanting to be seen as well um kind of resisting being seen resisting going down a path of um going towards your dreams specifically i think um and also like seeing your power so i feel like the choice is like staying in this energy of stagnancy and fear and like resisting being seen for your authentic self and like resisting going down like the path you really know you want like this dream that you have specifically is in regards to a dream could be career related could not be it depends and this other energy this other path of letting go and actually giving back to yourself and really realizing what a magician you are what power you have and how much you really can like grow and continue to like go on a journey of self-discovery number one and passion specifically like towards a passion um yeah that's the energy read but also like trusting your intuition and building a new foundation for yourself is that path too it's like trusting that intuition because i think you really know which path you really want to go down but i think that you're scared to go down it because you know you could be scared of being seen you could be scared of um healing even healing is really hard so you know that's understandable um but yeah it's either a path of like staying where you're at which isn't serving you and you know it's not serving you you know it's causing you inner turmoil you know it's causing you to feel drained and just you know like stagnant or going towards being seen being heard being authentic going after that dream that you want and i just saw 444 on the clock um that's giving me this sense of stability like you could gain a lot of stability by going down the path that you really know you want to go down like towards that dream but we are going to get into um what will happen if you go down path a and what will go down if what will happen if you go down path b so let me pick these cards up we are going to um 
have two different decks here. So I've got, okay, I've got path A and I've got path B. So path A is going to be staying in your current energy where you're feeling stagnant. And then path B is going to be going towards that dream, that goal, that authenticity, that, you know, letting go of resistance. Okay. So give me a moment here to like shuffle and get cards for path A on staying in the energy. What will happen if pile one stays in this energy, this path of stagnancy, this current energy? Getting a lot of the same cards that you got before. And that's giving me this feeling of, you know, things aren't going to change. And you're still going to be battling with their own inner turmoil with that Seven of Wands there. And that Ten of Cups being in reverse. It's just going to drain you. Continue to drain you. And you're going to continue to just be stagnant is what it's giving me. Um, let's see anything else on what will happen if pile one goes down path A. What will happen if pile one goes down path A? Okay, we have three of swords and queen of cups in reverse, five of swords and six of wands. Which I'm going to see. Let's get a clarifier for the Six of Wands. Clarifier. The Hermit. Okay. Okay. So if you stay in this path of resistance, what this is telling me with the Three of Swords and the Queen of Cups being in reverse, you're still going to be in this sorrow type of energy, this depressive energy that you've been in, um, this really big sadness, and also some of you numbness, just feeling completely numb to the world and to the things that could have served you. There is a sense of self-sabotage with the Five of Swords being here. I feel like this is really telling me self-sabotage. Like this is a path of self-sabotage. Um, and some of this, this stems from, for some of you, not all of you. With the Six of Wands being by the Hermit and the Hermit clarifying the six of wands and it like being right by the five of swords that self-sabotage it's like a subconscious need to like give yourself this negative attention um this could be something that followed you like from childhood like you know how some children, like, they will do, like, um, you know, kind of, like, shady things just to get attention because they didn't feel like they got attention any other way because when they were being good, their parents just, like, ignored them, which is totally a thing. And it's like you're kind of self-sabotaging in order to gain attention, but that attention you're gaining from yourself and not in a positive way. And I think some of you have a lot of negative self-talk when it comes to yourself as well. And staying in this inauthenticity and staying in this stagnant energy, it's not going to help you. It's not going to serve you. It's just going to make you, like, feel shittier towards yourself, really, um, is the energy that's kind of coming through with that. And you're also not going to be able to move past that inauthenticity either because you know the more we self-sabotage the more we 
let ourselves do what doesn't serve us, the farther away we get from our highest self, from our highest timeline, if you um, resonate with that. And so that is like a really important message for someone. Um, yeah, so that's path one. That's what will happen. It's You'll just stay in that stagnant energy and it's just like not going to serve you and it's going to be hurtful in the long run. Okay, so let's go down path two, path B, whatever, and see if you go down this path on path two, what will happen if um, pile one goes down path B where they go towards this energy of authenticity and following their dreams? What will happen for them? Give me some time to shuffle these. Oh, okay. Okay, we got a lot of cards here. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands, we have the Queen of Coins, Queen of Cups, Queen of Coins in reverse, Queen of Cups, normal. Um, we have the Four of Cups, we have the motherfucking Empress, we have the Lovers, in reverse, we have the Two of Cups, we have Death in reverse, we have Judgment, Five of Wands in reverse, Three of Coins again, give me a second guys, sorry, that I bumped you. And then we have the Seven of Wands in reverse, and we have the Two of Coins in reverse. Okay. I'm seeing something. Okay. Some of you, I think, are afraid of financial instability when it comes down to going to Path B. Because there are a lot of um, pentacle cards here, like, in reverse. And it's so, like, path A had, like, that three of coins. And it was, like, this investment, I think, of, like, like, you had, like, more maybe financially. But you weren't happy emotionally. Whereas path B, things might be a little bit difficult financially in the beginning. But emotionally, you're going to be really transforming and really being in your power. And, but we also do have that three of coins here again. And it's like, yeah, things might be a little bit like unbalanced at first financially going towards this path. Like maybe this is something that, um, maybe this is something where it's like you're kind of like starting a business or something and like when you start a business there there are times where you don't make sales for months at a time and things like that trust me i know <laughs> trust me i know um but like you're doing what serves you and that is like hugely fulfilling and that is like the energy i'm getting but spirits like saying like, hey, don't worry, like financially you will be okay. You just are going to have to invest a little bit financially with this um, path. But this path is going to serve your highest good with the Empress here. The Knight of Wands. Everything here is, it's really telling me like emotionally you're going to be doing so well. And... A lot of you are really going to be finding yourself again. You're really going to be finding yourself again when it comes to this 
like authenticity, like doing this, going down this path, it's going to bring you towards this self-fulfillment, towards this purpose feeling. A lot of you could be choosing between a purpose you feel called to and like staying in a stagnant energy that is financially okay right now. But spirits like take that leap of faith and go towards the goal, the dream, because you will succeed. You will succeed. And don't be resistant to change. Like, don't be resistant to change. And I know that's easier said than done, but you really, you're worthy of so much more than you give yourself credit for. You're worthy of so much more than you give yourself credit for. Number one. Number two, like, this path really is in your highest good. With the Empress here and the Queen of Cups here, this is really telling me you're going to be stepping into your power if you go down this path. You're going to be feeling emotionally fulfilled if you go down this path. With the Two of Cups here and the Lovers in Reverse, for me, this is saying, like, this is a love that you have always wanted. And I am hearing the word career. Like, I really think this is career re related for a lot of you. This is like the, the love career that you've always wanted. And it's something that you deserve. It's something that you can follow your life purpose with, specifically. For a lot of you, like this is a life purpose type of situation. And this is something that most definitely serves your highest good. Um, and if I were you, I would choose path B personally. Because do you want to stay emotionally insecure and unfulfilled, but you have, you know, maybe enough financially? Or do you want to invest something into, you know, you want to invest into your dream and then like, have that financial stability, yeah, but then also have that fucking fulfillment and emotional abundance, you know, like abundance in all senses of the word. I personally would choose path B, but that's up to you. Um, yeah, I think that's everything for your reading, pile number one. If you feel called to, please like and comment. I love reading your comments. It really means a lot to me to know if it resonated for you. I do have personal readings available on my website at www.blairiris.com and I also sell art. Um, I'm an artist as well as a psychic and um, you can also tip me if you feel called to. You know, all the links are down below in my description box. So yeah, I hope that this reading really helped you and I hope that you get everything you want and desire out of this life. I believe in you and I'm proud of you and I know that you can do this. So, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Hello, pile number two. If you chose the little house, then this is your reading all about um, which path you should go down, path A or path B. So, first we're going to get into a little energy read. If you missed that, we're going to see what exactly you might be choosing between we have a lot of cards here some of them are off screen because i only have so much room here um and i let cards come out like whatever wants to come out i let it come out um so sometimes that's a little more than will fit on the screen and that's okay but okay right off the bat as i was laying your cards down i was getting this this um choice between staying in this kind of toxic either situation or mindset or environment or like around a person um or taking like a leap of faith and going towards more of a path of solitude and a change of perspective when it comes to um, 
this choice. Um, I forgot to tell you guys which cards came out. <laughs> Let me tell you that real quick. We have the Page of Swords, the Hanged Man. Page of Coins in Reverse, the Star in Reverse, the Six of Wands, the Four of Wands in Reverse, the Devil, the Six of Swords in Reverse, the Hierophant, the Emperor, the Fool in Reverse, the Three of Cups in Reverse, and the Six of Coins. So, back to the choices this could be between. So, there's either this choice of staying around this toxic energy or this toxic mindset. This could even be habits. Um, this could be something like um, that you need therapy for or need to go into recovery for. Uh, this could be a person, a situation, environment. There's something here that is an energy that isn't serving you, whether it be a person, environment, thing, habit, mindset, whatever. This thing is causing you a lot of turmoil. Um... It's also draining you. This could be like an energy vampire that you're around. Like, um, I'm feeling really, really tired all of a sudden. Also, this thing is holding you back from speaking your truth as well. It definitely, definitely is. It could also be something that's holding you back from... Um, going after a dream and having faith in yourself as well so that is one path that that is like one energy of it and then the other energy that you could be choosing between like is going towards this full-hearted belief in the self and stepping into your power some of you, this could even be stepping into a leadership role with the Hierophant here, right next to the Emperor, right next to the Fool in Reverse, right next to the Three of Cups in Reverse, and the Six of Coins. This is giving me this energy of you going down a path that you lead people towards something greater than themselves or bigger than themselves. This could be... This could have something to do with um, a career or even like a way of life even. Um, but definitely like a stepping into your power type of situation and taking a leap of faith on something. For some of you, this could be something that is more career. You could be like in a toxic job. And choosing between staying in a toxic job and going towards you know like a dream or something or it could be a relationship it's like it could be something like that it could be like staying in a toxic relationship or connection with someone and actually um doing what serves you and stepping into your power and being in solitude and like figuring out like hey i don't need this person and i don't need this this bullshit in my life or this mindset in my life and giving back to yourself and even others as well especially for those who this is like career and leadership related um it's like either we're staying in this mindset of toxicity or we're going down this path of like more enlightenment so that's the energy read there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say like the paths are like staying in a toxic energy or taking a leap of faith towards going after what you really want, basically. Okay? Very similar to pile one, but pile ones wasn't like as strongly negative, I feel like. Like, yours is more extreme, I feel like. And theirs was, like, more, like, 
it was just less extreme than like having a toxic situation. Anyway, so we're going to get into what will happen if you go down path A and what will happen if you go down path B. And I'll let you know which is which. Just give me a moment here. Okay. Okay, path A is going to be the pink deck on the left. And that is going to be the path of staying in that toxic energy. And path B is going to be the black deck. And that is going to be um, going down this more positive path that, you know, changes your perspective, changes your mindset or environment or whatever, releases this toxic energy that you're around. Okay? So I hope that made sense. Let's get into path A first. Path A. Staying in with this toxic energy, what will happen if they go down path A? What will happen to pile two if they go down path A? What will happen to pile two? Hang on. like really get this shuffled what will happen to path a if they okay we got something okay anything else for path a anything else spirit second. I want to try and get a few more cards. Anything else? Oh, okay, that's it, I think. So I am going to take this top card. Okay. So we have two of wands, death in reverse, the Seven of Swords, the Chariot, Three of Cups in Reverse, the Lovers, Knight of Swords, we have the Ace of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Queen of Cups in Reverse, Queen of Coins, the um, nine of coins in reverse and the two of swords in reverse. Okay, give me a second here to try to interpret this really quickly. Okay. So if you go down path A, which is staying in that stagnant energy, I feel like you're still going to be feeling confused. Um, like you still are choosing between paths. Like it's kind of like a restless energy. Um... I feel like it is going to be difficult for you to transform if you 
go down this path, I feel like it's going to kind of create some resistance to change. Um, and you are kind of avoiding change by staying with this path. We also have the Seven of Wands here. Um, give me a second here to see if Spirit has something direct to say with the words. Because they're kind of coming through with something. They're saying static, stagnancy strategy. What was the other thing, Spirit? Self-sabotage. Um, this could be something that uh, really doesn't help you when it comes to your growth. Um, as we keep saying, they're just like really honing in on that, like, there could be this energy of movement with the chariot here, but it's a different kind of movement. I'm hearing more physical rather than emotional and self-development type. It's more like physical, like maybe this path could lead to um, a move of some kind. But also a disconnection within relationships as well with the three of cups in reverse here and the lovers being right next to it with the knight of swords interesting give me a second because you have the lovers here in reverse no not in reverse um you have the three of cups in reverse but you have the lovers and you have the knight of swords ace of wands and then five of cups and then Queen of Cups in reverse. This is giving me like mixed messages. It's like a aspect of it is kind of positive. An aspect of it is positive, but then another aspect of it. Oh, okay. I'm hearing the physical is more positive. The material is more positive and like abundant, but then the emotional is still draining and stagnant and just like stuck energy but there's also this feeling of burnout and hang on give me a second spirit just said a revelation of the self which is kind of confusing hang on a revelation of the self i'm looking at the two of swords when i say this and the nine of coins in reverse a revelation of the self materially but not emotionally they're saying and they're saying things are like becoming more of a choice and less of a burden and less of a disbelief. Hang on, give me a second. Things are revealed to you at the end of this path. Like things are kind of rocky at first and like materially things are better and there is some stagnancy, yeah, but then towards the end it's like there are some things that become revealed to you and then you also go into like this burnout period of overworking I, they just said oh they just said overwork underpaid some of you this could be career related um overworked underpaid undervalued underappreciated under respect underloved like Whatever this energy is that you stay with on path A, it's like, it's something that it becomes revealed to you how, how really bad it is for you. Um, 
and how much it can really send you into a burnout period as well as keeping you away from the path you I feel like are more meant to go down when it comes to like the knight of wands it's like there's this thing you really want to go towards but you're not going towards it because you're afraid of what will happen in the physical world or whatever and it still doesn't actually serve you in the end it still burns you out it still ends up being emotionally shitty so yeah that's that hate giving bad news but that is what will happen with path a if you choose path a just a lot of um kind of shitty energy it feels like but like materially it's like better at first but but like it just really sucks on every other level which doesn't seem worth it um we're gonna go see what happens to path a though if you do follow i mean path b if you do follow the other path we were talking about in the energy read Okay, what will happen to Pile 2 if they go down Path B? What will happen to Pile 2 if they go down Path B? <clears throat> Hang on. What will happen to Pile 2 if they go down Path B? What will happen to Pile 2 if they go down Path B? What will happen to pile two if they go down path B? Whoa, okay. All right, we got quite a few things here. So give me a moment. Okay, we got the devil in reverse, which is really good. We got the page of pentacles. We got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Damn, dude, we got the Hierophant again. That's fucking crazy. We got the Two of Wands. We got the Eight of Cups. We got the Page of Wands. We got the King of Cups. I don't know if they're weird about cis male nipples i don't fucking know or i guess just any male nipple okay we got the six of cups we got the page of swords in reverse we got the moon in reverse the three of wands dude this is crazy we got the ace of wands again or was that a different ace? I don't know. I think it was the ace again, so. And we got the fucking seven of swords and the world. I'm just going to put these here. Okay. So, if you go down path B, which we were talking about is like releasing that negative toxic energy. Right off the fucking bat, dude, we got the fucking devil in reverse, which is an indication of cutting off that toxic energy. And at the other end of that line, we have the fucking eight of cups, where it's like walking away from things. And we also got the hierophant again, where I do think this is, for some of you, like a leadership role of some kind. Maybe going down like a leadership role of some kind. I don't know. But... Um, I'm also hearing like spiritual teacher, spiritual path, something like that. Um, sorry, my leg is falling asleep. Um, but then we also got the page of pentacles, the four of pentacles in reverse. And we got the two of wands. We also have the three of wands in there. We have the page of cups. Did I already read all of these off? I did. I, I did. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so this is giving me this indication of you going down this path of, like, cutting off this negative energy, going down this, like, more, um, 
Some of you have like a leadership role. Some of you just like something that serves your highest good. Um, when it comes to some of you, this could be career related again. Yeah, you'll know what it is for you. You'll know. But going down this path, this more positive path of like cutting off that negative stuff, this is going to lead towards so much fulfillment for you. With the King of Cups, like we're finally in that emotional stability place instead of feeling stagnant and drained. We're actually in like more of an energy of like, wow, this is really fulfilling me. Like my soul feels full. That's the feeling I'm getting is a full soul, which is beautiful. And this is also giving me this energy of a brand new cycle, a brand new beginning, a brand new um, passion as well, like a deep, deep passion for something. Also, some of you, this could still lead to travel and I know we talked about that in the second like the pile a as well but the three of wands that's like giving me like a journey feeling like going towards something and it doesn't have to be physical travel but it could be it could not be it could be more um a journey of self-discovery I'm hearing a journey of self-fulfillment like it, it could be a metaphorical journey but this is going to change your life this is going to make you feel at ease and at home, I'm feeling, and really, really passionate. And, like, I'm feeling like this, whew, wow. I'm feeling like this big feeling in my soul, like this big release, this big relief even. And I just saw 2323, and that's giving me that change, that five energy. But, wow, this, this feeling I'm getting is intense, like, wow. It does feel like love and fulfillment and just like open-hearted feeling. Wow. I hope that I conveyed that well enough. It's difficult sometimes being clairsentient and autistic and not knowing how to, to communicate your feelings. Um, but yeah. So this is a beautiful, beautiful journey that you could go down if you go down path B of like releasing that negative situation. Like this would change your life. This would change your outlook. Also, I'm hearing some of you, this was something you've been dreaming of doing since childhood or something that really feeds your inner child um, in the most positive and fulfilling ways. This could be a childhood dream even. Um, it's just beautiful, beautiful energy, just beautiful energy. And like you investing into yourself more, you going down this path of just absolute passion and self-fulfillment. That is just absolutely incredible. And I'm so happy for you if you go down this path. Like, I think this is the path. Like if I were you, I'd choose this path. But um, you got to take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You got to do what's best for you and use your own discernment of course um if you like this reading please comment i love reading your comments it really means the world to me um so yeah thank you so much for like staying here and watching this video i really really appreciate the influx i've gotten lately like in comments it's just been so nice um to hear that i'm really making a difference if you need a personal reading, I do offer personal readings only on my website at BlairIris.com. Um, you can follow me everywhere. I have tips where you can tip me, you know, do what you feel called to do. Everything's in the description box below. So, yeah, and don't fall for any scammers because people be trying to pretend to be me on Instagram and I would never message you first. So just know that. And I also have art on my website if you want to check that out as well. So yeah, I'm a psychic and an artist. So yeah, if you want to check those things out, you can. 
but I hope I see you in my next video. I really, really appreciate reading your energy. I think you're going to do really, really beautiful, great things. And I believe in you. You've got this. Bye. Hello, pile number three. If you chose the palmistry hand, then this is your pile. We're going to be doing a little energy read on what your choices could be between right now. And um, then we're going to get into what will happen if you choose path A and what will happen if you choose path B and which path is which. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. So, for pile number three, your energy read is really giving me... Okay... I'm hearing instability and resources drained. <clears throat> oh my god, my throat. I'm starting to lose my voice. Sorry. Um, that actually feels really significant. I feel like some of you could be holding yourself back from speaking about something. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think some of you are holding yourself back from speaking up for yourself um especially when it comes to how much you do for other people and i'm getting that message specifically with that nine of pentacles being in reverse and the ten of wands right underneath it's like we're really burning ourselves out burning the candles at both ends I'm literally seeing a visual of that burning the candles at both ends and giving more towards others than we're giving towards ourselves. and then the other choice is like okay hang on actually I think the other choice has something to do with your mindset when it comes to some of your fears being revealed for some of you with the moon being in reverse that's giving me this also secrets being revealed for some of you interesting that's just like an additional message for someone some kind of something is going to be revealed to you during this time period uh, specifically on why you shouldn't be doing this um constant give towards others that's kind of coming through and i think some of you could have like maybe like a codependent problem where you really really try really hard to give everything you have to everyone and like really be there for them but like you need to do that for your own mindset and your own ego for some of you just take what resonates of course um and this is like really draining and then so the other path i'm getting the other energy i'm getting and i just saw 333 is not doing this and starting to go and fill your own cup up and specifically with this knight of cups here i feel like you're giving to yourself like realizing okay giving to other people is like really draining me and i think i need like some time out and realizing that and that giving you this space to become more powerful and more passionate about life with the queen of wands being right next to that and also the queen of swords and the ten of pentacles are here doing this stepping into your own truth and taking care of your own self and and really doing what you know is right for you specifically is really going to lead down a path of abundance i think it could have been really draining for you to constantly be giving some of you could be ha have been giving a lot financially towards someone or something 
or whatever. And this is something that is going to help you if you start giving to yourself. It's going to really help you in a financial level too. With the Ace of Pentacles here and the Six of Swords being in reverse, losing all of these mindsets that haven't been serving you is going to lead to like this more abundance period, which is really funny because we're like really getting into what would happen if you choose this path like already that's how powerful the path is um for like actually filling your own cup up and taking care of yourself that's how powerful that path is for you and we have the nine of cups here and the king of pentacles this is wish fulfillment like seriously when i say powerful i mean powerful like wish fulfillment here with king of pentacles Everything you could need, your dream life, your dream journey is there for you. You just have to reach out and grab it for yourself and take care of yourself. Put yourself first, your own energy first, because this is going to be what helps you to move forward towards that dream life. Um... So we're going to get into path A and path B, what will happen for each still, even though we really kind of already are getting that with path B at least on choosing your own self. So let's do that. Let me take these cards up for you. Okay. So path A is going to be the pink deck. And that's going to be the path that you go down if you basically stay in this energy of giving towards others and burning yourself out super lots, you know. That's going to be what happens with that. And then path B is going to be choosing yourself and filling your own cup up. And that's the, the black deck. So let's get into path A first. What will happen if pile three goes down path A where they stay in this codependent energy, this giving burnout energy? What will happen? What will happen? What will happen? To pile three if they stay in this path a energy what will happen oh okay okay Okay, give me one moment. I don't know how I'm going to... Okay, we have Fortitude. We have the Hierophant in reverse. We have the Lover's card. We have the Four of Coins in reverse. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords. Damn. We have the Five of Cups. Devil in Reverse. Page of Wands. Justice in Reverse. And the Queen of Swords in Reverse. Okay, one second. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. If we go down path A, and we already know what path A is. Path A is keeping this codependency toxic giving too much energy, basically. If we go down that path, we have 
the strength card here telling me it's going to be a really hard path to go down you're going to need a lot of like a lot of strength to go down this path and you are an incredibly strong person but it is something that it's like this strength you need it's on another level to what you've experienced i'm hearing for some of you um yeah it's really not good on like a physical level even where it's like draining you um it's really even emotionally turmoil now also here with the hierophant in reverse and the lovers here with the four of coins in reverse and like the three of swords some of you this could be this codependent like relationship situation is like a love relationship or something of that matter like a relationship with someone else and you're trying so hard to invest in that relationship and also lead your own self but it's only causing you this heartbreak it's only causing you this pain and it's also keeping you stuck some of you in like this mentality where you feel hopeless and you feel like you can't get out of that path specifically with the eight of swords here right next to the five of cups that's giving me like there's this spark of hope some of you haven't even been able to see and if you go down this path, it's going to be even harder to see that because you're going to be stuck in that victim mentality and that hopelessness mentality, um, as well as, um, that toxic energy really coming to play again. And you would be working towards releasing that. I, I, I think you know that. You would be really trying to invest in this relationship and like better it but in the end it really doesn't go towards a path of justice instead it's more imbalanced imbalanced it's it's unfair it's not even your real self's desires and it's more based on what everyone else wants from you as well as what you think you should give to that relationship or whatever it may be. Um, that's a really, really big message for some of you. And wow, that is powerful. You guys have such a deep meaning, I feel like, to your reading. Um, so let's find out if you go down path B, where you choose yourself, what will happen, okay? If pile number three chooses their self and goes down path B, what will happen for them? Let's see what will happen for you guys. What will happen for pile number three? What will happen for pile number three? If they go down path B, spirit. Oops, sorry, guys. I really knocked you over there. Really need a better tripod situation. Um, let's see what will happen for path B. What will happen for path B? What will happen for pile number three if they go down path B? What will happen for pile number three if they go down path B? Um, let me 
me see if any more want to come out. Anything else, spirit? Okay. Hang on, let's see. Anything else, spirit? Yeah, okay. Anything else, spirit? Okay. All right. Let's see what we got. Dang. The Hierophant be coming out so much today. The Hierophant, Two of Wands, the Fool in Reverse, the Moon, the Seven of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, I mean, Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles in Reverse, Four of Wands, Four of Cups, Ten of Cups, Five of Cups, I know this is so chaotic, you guys. I'm a chaotic little Scorpio, okay? You don't like it, you're gonna get over it. Um, we got Five of Pentacles here, and we got King of Swords in reverse, and we got the Wheel in reverse. Interesting. Let's see here. Give me a moment here. I want to clarify the wheel in reverse spirit. Let me clarify the wheel in reverse spirit. Okay, we got two cards. Oh, three cards. Uh, let's see. Okay. We got the Queen of Wands, Seven of Wands, and the World. Okay. So, give me a moment here. Going down path B. Number one, it's not going to be easy. Um, it is going to be difficult emotionally as well in the sense of there is going to be a grieving period um, for cutting off this codependency some of you are dealing with and just kind of like this too much, this too muchness, too muchness of giving too muchness, okay? If that made sense. <laughs> that was a weird sentence, but whatever. Um, this is really telling me, um, you know, it will be hard at first. It will be hard at first. But in the end, it's actually going to be serving you really, really well. Well, it will feel like you are kind of up against the world sometimes when it comes to your emotions. Um like grieving and like kind of like just kind of going through like this transition period this transformation period that's giving me like this sense of um you know it, it is a sense of loss for the other path and the feelings that that path gave you and the feelings it gave you to give so much to others specifically is a really big message. <sighs> wow, that is powerful. And I really highly relate to your your pile. I've been through this myself and it, it does hurt. It does hurt a lot to let go and really kind of give up on that relationship or situation or whatever it may be and it's like we have to grieve that life but this is going to actually be serving you towards a really big path of stability number one and number two passion with the, the queen of wands here and the world and the seven of wands Seven of Wands can mean many different things. 
each card has many different meanings, which is why you should always use your intuition. And my intuition is telling me that this is like you starting to fight for yourself again. Look at this card if you're able to, and I will visually describe it. It is this powerful, them presenting person with this fucking giant wand sphere thing. And they look like they're just like a fucking badass, ready to take on the world, take on life again with this newfound passion and newfound freedom. And it leads to this Queen of Wands energy where they just feel incredibly passionate and like, I'm even hearing the star of the show, like, um, healing that energy of not needing not wanting to be seen even for some of you and just really a powerful powerful thing when it comes to manifesting what you desire really and it's really going to change your life if you go down this path with the four of cups here the four of wands and the ten of cups the five of cups in reverse this is giving me this energy of like okay at first it might feel like things are feeling kind of stagnant because we're grieving and everything but the the longer it goes on the longer we start to see our blessings the more we start to realize how much stability we have and that we are able to you know, feel. So that's just like a really big message, I feel like, for some of you. Like, that's just a really big message. Like, you should really do what you feel called to do. Um, and like, this is serving you to your highest potential, even. So that's a beautiful message. Um, and also a leadership role for some of you. And, and it could feel kind of hard financially. Like you have to be patient. Some of you might be dealing with um, a financial type of situation in which path A, you had more choices financially. The path B, you're happier. But Spirit's saying, like, don't worry about this. Just have patience because that will start to come through as time goes on. If there's just going to be a transition period. But you're being protected, you're being guided, and you're being watched over if you choose this path. So that's a really big message they wanted you to hear. And things... Things are going to be revealed to you in time. And you're going to be feeling like you have a lot more opportunity in life as well. I really, really, really feel that. Especially with this Three of Wands being here. Um, a journey of self-discovery I'm hearing as well. Journey of self-fulfillment. Um, so I think that's everything pile number three. If you like this video, please like and comment. It really helps my channel grow, and I really, really appreciate it, and I love reading your comments. Um, if you feel called to, I have links in my bio where you can tip me or book a personal reading or check out my art on BlairIris.com. The only place you can get a reading from me. Don't listen to any scammers out there if they message you first with my name on Instagram or anything. Um... Or anywhere so don't worry I will never message you first I don't even message my friends first most of the time so <laughs> yeah I'm just very introverted but watch out for yourself okay and I think that's everything thank you so much for for watching I truly truly appreciate it and I appreciate you thank you bye hello pile number four if you chose the piece of copper, then this is your reading. So we have the, um, we have the four of cups 
in reverse, we have the Page of Cups and we have the Knight of Swords, the Temperance in reverse, the Two of Cups, and Six of Wands, Four of Wands in reverse, the World in reverse, the Emperor, the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Cups, okay, and the Nine of Swords, and the Knight of Coins, and the Ten of Pentacles, and then the Eight of Swords in reverse, okay. So, if you missed it, this is just the little energy read portion where we see what you could be choosing from. And then we'll go into path A and then path B and what that will bring for you if you choose either. But right now, I just need a moment to see what you could be choosing between. This one is a little tricky. Okay, I'm hearing like balance and harmony. A lot of you are feeling drained um, physically. You're really, really tired. You could even be having nightmares, some of you. Hmm. Give me a second here. Sorry if you hear the lawnmower. People are outside right now. Okay, I'm getting a really specific message here of someone choosing between a type of therapy or something and not going to that. Like, specifically could be even just the choice of going to therapy or not going to therapy again takes what what resonates this is just what's coming through so far um there could be more energies that come through on this but so far one energy is telling me like a certain path of healing or shadow work even that you feel like you should go down but you're kind of nervous to go down that path and um there's something even comforting about staying on the path you are on like you know you need to leave something behind but you feel stressed out about it and like kind of like uh like a grieving thing like it would make you feel really sad um to leave this thing it could be something that's not therapy but um it could be a mindset or something like that that's kind of coming through right now and then the other path is like staying in it staying where you are staying in the current energy of like basically having a just kind of just keep going with what you're doing already not really changing anything um again take what resonates interpret for yourself because this is like very specific that's coming through and there's just so many energies. Sometimes one just clogs up the system. I don't know what it is. But for me, that happens sometimes. So take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. It could be just like path of self-discovery. A, a different way of being. A different way of even dressing. Or um, like acting or something like that, or like a path where you, you've always wanted to go down it, but you never chose to, it could be college for someone, even I'm hearing, there is something you want to go towards, but 
you, there's also something comfortable about staying where you are. Okay. So let's see what happens if you go down path A where you stay in the energy you're currently at or if you go down path B where you choose this other thing that you want to go towards or that you think would be better for you. Okay. Path A is the pink deck and path B is the black deck and the path A is staying where you are path B is going towards a new path so let's first check path A staying where you are what will happen if pile 3 stays where they're at currently what will happen if they just stay in their current energy and do nothing about this choice What will happen if they stay in this current energy? What will happen? What will happen? Oh, okay. If they stay in this current energy, what will happen if they stay in this current energy that they're in? What will happen? if they stay in this current energy. Okay. We have four of coins, king of coins in reverse, strength in reverse, the hierophant, the star, tower in reverse, the um the nine of cups, the three of coins, interesting, the seven of swords, page of cups, and the knight of coins. Okay, interesting. So, this to me me a second here this is telling me that you are going to kind of still struggle emotionally with yourself if you stay in this current energy um, you will be starting to rebuild something though and you could still have what you want actually you could still have what you want. Um, it could just be like something feels like off, like something emotionally feels kind of off. So you still are going towards like a path of success and wish fulfillment even. And you still can go down a path of healing and growth. But like... It will still be a little bit difficult emotionally um, and it will take a toll on you emotionally and like it may feel make you feel weakened in a way like it may make you feel as though I'm so sorry about the lawnmower noise <laughs> I only have so much time to film this I'm going out of town this is the only time I have to film this um, it may make you feel weakened and like things are just really hard for you right now. If you stay in this current energy, like it, it's going to take a lot of emotional strength and hearing, but you could still have what you want materially, but emotionally it may be difficult for you. Um, yeah, and it's just not going to be, like, what you really are desiring soul level, I feel like, um, is kind of what it feels like to me. It's very straightforward. Uh, yeah, there could still be development, but it, it's just going to be slower, too. It could take a lot longer to get through this emotional state. I'm not saying you wouldn't get to a path of emotional fulfillment, but it just doesn't feel like it to me. 
like with this energy it just feels like something would just feel off all the time emotionally like if you lead your life with your emotions if you're like a feeling Myers-Briggs it's not going to feel good you know it's not going to feel good even though it looks good on the outside basically so that is what will happen if you stay in path a that current energy that you're in let's check out what happens if you go down path b if you go down path b what will happen if you go towards what it is that you want to do what will happen if they go down path b what will happen if pile four goes down path b what will happen if pile four goes down path b what will happen if pile four goes down path b what will happen anything else spirits anything else okay so we have nine of wands eight of swords in reverse three of cups four of swords strength oh the star and four of pentacles interesting i'm just gonna see if anything else wants to come out yeah okay death anything else yeah eight of wands oh beautiful hang on a couple more fell out okay four of wands and seven of pentacles in reverse but they don't feel like they should be in reverse but they are interesting okay i think i'm getting something actually let's see what else is coming okay we also have judgment in reverse and temperance. I'm sorry, this is a little chaotic looking, but whatever. Um, so right off the bat, I'm getting transforming. I'm also getting it would be difficult emotionally still. And for some reason I'm hearing it could cost you relationships. Um, I don't know what that's about. Maybe you will. That could just be for one person. I don't know. There could be relationships you need to walk away from. It could be something like that. Someone might not approve of this path and that might break something for your relationship. But if they don't approve of something you want to go down, like, that's on them. That's not on you. You got to live your life for you. And this... If this is what you want, you got to do what you want, okay? So don't let that deter you. But then we also got the star card here. The four of pentacles in reverse and the death card in the ace of wands. This is going to be moving slowly and you're going to be investing things at first. But then once it starts moving, it's going to be fast. It's going to be so fast that it feels unstable. It's going to be so fast that it feels kind of like crazy and kind of scary. <laughs> And like nerve-wracking but like in a good way excitement instead of fear and it's going to be more balanced as well and I'm hearing less judgmental less stereotypical this could be more of a path of alignment with what your soul really wants you to do like what's most authentic to your soul even the star card here being like it's something that you need to go down that's like more like it leads you to being divinely led like towards your path and like being seen and being heard I'm hearing and like it's a good thing for you overall financially even though it will take some patience and 
it will be more balanced and more emotionally fulfilled. And yeah, at first it may be a little bit rocky emotionally and it may cost you some things and you may need to take some periods of rest as well. It will lead you to a place of abundance and fulfillment if you go down this path. And it may still feel kind of like rocky at first, but you will find balance. You will find alignment within yourself and you will start to judge yourself less the more you go forward. And you will be breaking cycles of shit that just didn't serve you with your mindset specifically. Things that you thought you couldn't achieve become things that you actually are really good at. And like you realize you have all of this potential within you and you just go for it and it's beautiful and it's wonderful and it's magical and you transform into your highest self I'm hearing specifically so this really feels like a path of like souls calling for a lot of you um yeah that's really big so that feels really really significant and I think that is all the messages I'm hearing for you pile number four but if you feel called to please like and subscribe and comment on this video it really helps me to be seen and more people to be able to um have you know their own messages they're meant to hear and transformations so um please do that if you can and i also um have personal readings and art available on my website i'm an artist as well as a psychic and that website is www.blairiris.com. That's the only place you can get personal readings from me. And um, if you um, feel called to, you can even tip me. There are links in the description box. If this reading hit you a certain way, I would really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. I hope I see you again. Thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate you. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. Bye.